name is Cheryl Soares, and I have been tasked with uh, one of my jobs, uh, volunteer coordination. And it's actually something I'm very passionate about and one of the fa my favorite things that I do at Plymouth 400. I think a great thing that um, Plymouth 400 does is we uh, ha try to have monthly community and volunteer meetings. So you really get a, a picture of everything that's happening now, what's been done in the past in 2020. And, and Michelle does that, and our executive director, Michelle Pecorero. And then um, I talk about ways that people can get involved now, and we're gonna need, a, a, I say, a small army of volunteers in 2020. I'm here today because I was excited to see all of the new things that Plymouth 400 has been working on. Um, they, you know, I've been following all the news that's been picked up by, uh, uh, on Plymouth 400, you know. Last week with the press conference in Boston, they were in the New York Times, they're in the Boston Globe, they're on NBC. People are really starting to look at what's going on here, so I wanted to come to today's community meeting and you know, get a refresher on all things to come in 2020. We can't do it without volunteers. We really can't, we're a small staff. We need people in the office, uh, so there's administrative support, light office work, answering the phones, greeting people when they come in, and there are more and more people coming into our office, selling merchandise. We're always trying to raise awareness and get out the information about our signature events and all the things that we're doing. So we go to other people's events and we set up an information table and we have a lot of people, a lot of volunteers who do that. Uh, we will train you with what you need to know for whatever task it is that you wanna do. Um, but really this commemoration is for everyone and, uh, and we need our volunteers. When, when I'm with the group or at an event volunteering, uh, the, the feeling among us volunteers is terrific. Uh, we're all there because we want to be there. Um, we support each other 100%. Uh, we're never, you know, alone. We're, there's always a, a group of us. And um, we, we're there because we enjoy being with the public too. And if there's something one of us doesn't know or needs a little help with or maybe remembers a bit of information someone else doesn't, we, uh, we support each other, we have a good time, and we get to participate in the events. One of my favorite things is I've seen some real friendships forming. There's a camaraderie that happens among all the volunteers as we continue to do all of these events. And uh, that's why it's great to start now and to build these relationships because we're able to work together really well and it helps me also know what your strengths are, what makes you happy. I don't want volunteers in a position um, that isn't comfortable for them. So many more people are now recognizing how big of a deal this actually is. And now they're realizing, okay, it's time to jump on board because a year from now, we're gonna be in the thick of it. So, you know, it's time to get involved, time to put some time and energy into something that is really gonna be leaving a massive legacy for generations to come. If you are curious or interested in Plymouth 400, uh, in the events coming up, I'd say definitely. Um, give it a shot, put your name uh, on a list, join in one of the groups and see what it's all about because you'll definitely enjoy it. If you want to learn more about volunteering for Plymouth 400, you can go to our website and you'll find out all the information there. We are so excited for 2020 and um, we really need your help. So please contact us.